So here we are I'm with Pete Genovese. Hey! Here we are I'm with Pete Genovese. Hey. I can't talk. <laughs> you can't interrupt me. <laughs> so we're uh, we're on our way to our first diner. Which diner are we going to? Uh, the one that's up right up here. Which one? In Lawrence. Michael's right? Diner, Route 1 and Lawrence Road. We're on Route 1 right now. Okay, and we started a little bit late, Pete. Why did we... Uh... Well, last night. So I was sitting down to dinner last night. Had a nice piece of chicken, a little pasta on the side. That and my healthy. freaking... Yes, it was. Unlike uh, the next month or so when we might be veering exactly. toward caloric excess. So there I was eating, peacefully eating my chicken, and my tooth falls out. Your tooth like fell out? Freaking tooth. Which falls. one? Uh, there's a molar. Okay. Yeah, and you I, don't miss those. Oh, well, I did. And it would make you know, eating for the next month a little uncomfortable. And I was just more ticked off. As you should be, yeah. So it's, so the molar, well, I, I thought it was just a tooth or even a crown, but my dentist uh, corrected me that it's actually a molar. So there's a screw sticking out of the molar. One screw is in the tooth and one screw is in my gum. So I'm thinking like, oh, I've got a, this is like major reconstruction. We've got to get a whole new thing. So I called my dentist up or emailed her. She said, come in tomorrow. I love my dentist. Amy, you're the best. You're the best, Amy. You, we're giving a shout out. What's, uh, Amy, where's her practice? Oh, just say, well, just say Amy. Okay, Amy, that's uh, nice. uh, You don't want to give her references? You don't so want to give her more Amy, business? Amy and Freehold. All right, there we go. Uh, so she saw me for uh, fortunately this morning and and learned nothing. She just glued it right back in, a little super glue. I'm good to go. We're super ready to eat. Why not? Obviously, kidding about super glue. I, they glued use, it back in. They you know, use super glue like in five um, minutes. I've had people like I know people who've cut themselves and like they have medical grade super glue that they use. Mm -hmm. So that's not that far off. But you're okay. You're, you're I'm ready. Be... She gave. She says an hour. Or this is the funny part. She says an hour. You you go back to normal. And I said normal. I'm never like normal. Exactly. So I'm like what? Can you claim workman's comp on a <laughs> on a lost <laughs> tooth? The tooth right there. I, I mean, you yeah, eat enough for this job. It's probably for you, a workplace for you dentist out there. Injury. Injury. I think it's number twenty nine tooth. Is it either twenty nine or eleven? I forget which one of those two. There's a big difference. It's like a, yeah. it's one one of the other side. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yes. All right. So it's, it's on this. Side. So I'm ready to go. All right. So and we're ready to eat and we're ready 40, to eat. Pete 40, has all his teeth. 49ers. Uh, yeah, I've lost my marbles and a few other things, my sanity. And my jersey, my jersey hood questions yesterday after my infamous and controversial 10 most overrated things about New Jersey. Check it out on NJ.com. Where uh, you went off against the uh, the Jersey tomato, right? Yeah, the tomato didn't go off on diners. Uh, no, some things are sacrosanct. Diners are one. Diners are never, important. Yeah, I don't think don't, diners are overrated. They definitely uh, have their place. So tomatoes and pork roll slash Taylor ham. Oh my god, people. Are you went against Taylor ham. That's. I think it's just over. No, I, I didn't. I never said in the story I didn't like it. I just said it's overrated. You're make, you're setting it's yourself overrated. up to make enemies. It's overrated. Okay. It's just bland and boring and just give me a fistful of bacon. I'm getting a breakfast sandwich, got the egg, and give me the bacon. I don't want some of your greasy Taylor ham. Fair enough. And it tastes the same anyway. So I mean, no, this, it just tastes the yeah, same. Yeah, I mean, it's you know where I stand on the whole issue, but that, I'm kind of on the outside of that. Yeah, some tomatoes, and, and self-service gas. Actually, the three main ones were pork roll. The three main ones people I still don't pork fully roll. understand the self-service gas. Is it supposed to create jobs, or...? It's, it's well, 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 A, we're the only one of two states that have it. It's just stupid. It's archaic. It's like 19th century. I was Us in Oregon, and Oregon is apparently passing legislation where they're going to allow self-service. I will So we're going to be the only freaking state in the whole freaking country that helps self And people will be like, oh, I want to play what? It's no, it's, it's no way Here's, advantage. I, I will say play. one thing. I don't want to go out in the cold. There, oh, there we go. That's the thing. I don't want to go out in the well, here's cold. My, here's my response to that. Get out of the car. It takes one second. Put the gas thing in and get back in. No, the car. you're not supposed you're to get back into the car. That's like a rule. You're not supposed That's to get back in the car when you're fueling. That's important. No. What's gonna, what's gonna happen? Uh, apparently, you can watching, create like a static charge and like set yourself on fire. Hitchcock movies. You know the birds where they blow up the uh, the birds attack the gas station. Blow it up. I actually never like, watched the birds when I was a kid because I was too Hedren. I was too afraid. Tippy Hedren, Rod Taylor. I'll check and it out. And the scene at the gas station. I, I don't know what you're referencing. No, you just didn't watch see it. it. Yeah. It's the best scene in the whole movie, the scene of the gas station. What, what about the like the scene with the, the birds on the trees in the playground? Yeah, the, yeah. it's better. One of the gas stations. Okay. The whole gas station blows up. The whole gas station blows yeah, up? Yeah, because of the birds. Interesting. And because a person went, sat in their car, and they, you know, 
self serve. Yeah, exactly. Like no, they were killed by self service gas. So or not self service. It's just gas. so stupid. I want to pump my own gas. It's going to cost like five cents more. I'll pay the five cents. I'll pay everybody's five cents if that's what it costs to get self serve. It's quicker. It's easier. It's stop it already. So anyway, diners. Diners. Oh yeah. Were we talking about diners? We were talking about diners at some point. <laughs> It is going to be a long trip. So diners, we're, diners, we're the diner state. We have about 600 diners more than any other state. Um, exactly. Diners did not start here. They actually started on the streets of Providence, Rhode Island, late 1800s. Uh, but we certainly, but it, it just Pete's done his research. I, I wrote the book. I wrote the book. It's called Jersey Diners. He still, is the research. Still available on Amazon, Jersey Diners. Been out for 20 years. Uh, new edition about five years ago. It tells all about diner life culture and that stuff. But... So, you can't, I mean, to me, always two things define Jersey. Like, if you do, like, the word association, word association game with Jersey, you, and you ask, like, 10 Jerseyans or 100 Jerseyans on the street, what are the two things you most associate with Jersey? Like, to me, they're two things. What, what are your two things? Jersey Shore and diners. Okay, that, that's from Jerseyans. As a right. New York, oh, no. as a, as a well, native New Yorkers, New, Yorkers have no voice. New Yorkers have no voice. Well, yeah, it, we so. have no voice, but I'm, I'm, I've worked in New Jersey long enough right. now that I and at least have Jersey. a bit of a stay. Yeah, I mean Jersey, but it's still New York plates and everything. So I guess I don't really count. You don't want to cross over to the dark side. Um, I guess not. Not yet, at least. So you were saying about I, things you uh, associate with? Oh, things I, I would probably say uh, getting to the airport and uh, faint garbage smell. But you no. know, that, I mean that's how, that's also how I I started off and kind of a skeptical. New Yorker about New Jersey, and I've come to really love the state. So, and definitely diners is one of those things. All right, so we are on our way right now to Lawrenceville to which diner? The Michael's Diner in Lawrenceville. To Michael's Diner in Lawrenceville, and, then and time to eat diner in Bridgewater, and the Manville Diner in Manville. So Central Jersey, and again, we're all over the state. They're uh, hitting uh, all over the state: North Jersey, South Jersey, the Shore. So yeah. We are covering the hot. So state. send us tips. Um, you know, what to eat? Yeah, yeah what to eat? eat. Yeah, with the Either. diner. The schedule is set, but if you have, if you see the diner, go to nj.com, uh, Jersey's best, and you'll see the schedule. And if you, you see your favorite diner on that list, tell us what we should get there. So we're mm -hmm. definitely open to suggestions. And you now, have any vegetarian? Veg veg I was just say vegetarian. Any options. vegetarian suggestions the over here? Carnivore. Yeah, from the the non-carnivore photographer. That would be nice. Um, we might also do some stuff on uh, Instagram or Snapchat, so we'll keep you posted. Oh, Instagram, definitely. Uh, Instagram, NJ yeah. underscore Munchmobile. Yes. All, all the photos will be on there. Twitter, Pete Genovese, Alex Remnick. Also Alex Remnick, yeah. And uh, we'll keep you posted. Yep. See ya.